Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out, to chat, craft, and create with me. Today, I have a Timu haul. This one's the interesting one. It is stencils. I already opened it up so that it's a little bit less sounding. And it's got stencils in it. I am working on building my stencil stash and I needed one of the stencils, but they had such a great deal. And you have to place a $10 order. Um, at least I need to place a ten dollar order minimum to get an order shipped. So I got this paper. I absolutely love this. I chose the Bill Collection. How gorgeous are these? They're not very big, but they are beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. And I thought they were going to be giant. I'm happy with the size that they are. Look at that library card. <gasps> Gorgeous. I have so much sun here. I'm sorry. I'm happy that I have so much sun. But it has a bunch of little tiny library cards. How cute are those? And then you have this one here. And this says, this book is due on the last date stamped below. January 8th, 1993. Isn't that cool? And then the earliest one they have on here is 1974. So I was in love with these and I thought it was cool. Grimm's Fairy Tales. Really cute, right? So there is a lot of them here. A lot of different ones that you get with this pack. And so far, it doesn't look like there is any repeats. And I think they called it the Bill Collection. A little menu. I'm not menu. Receipt, restaurant receipt there, order thing. Really cute, right? So, really gorgeous. Oh, a ticket! I got kind of excited. I think they got two tickets in here, too. There are two different tickets. World Safari. Oh, I like those. Those are different. Another one of those little ones, but done differently. So really cool things and then they get larger at the end here. Keep this book clean. Do not turn down the leaves. <laughs> okay, so there is a lot in here. I didn't realize how many. But you can see absolutely beautiful and a great size. And I will link these down below as well. So I think it was a what does it say? Large size retro note with adhesive. They're stickers. They don't feel like stickers. Oh, they're stickers. I did not realize that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that makes them even more precious. Stickers. Oh. Uh, loving these. I might just have to get one more pack of this. Stickers. I did not know they were stickers. Ooh, girl. Oh, I love that. And I think that is the item number. Try and move it out of the sun there. I think that's the item number there. Now on to the stencils. So I have my little stencil pad here ready to go to show you these stencils and I have one of my black inks as well so the first one here can't really see it right they're really hard to see and they all have the cellophane on them still so this one is it just says stencil that's all it says on there but it's really cute. When I saw it, I thought, oh, how adorable is that? So I'm going to ink up my little brush here. And we'll do a little spot so you can see it. Isn't that cute? Let's see it with all that sunshine. Oh my god, isn't that beautiful? So let me see if I can match it back up. And we'll do some more of it for you. Oh, I think I got it. I did. So I'll get a bunch of it going. 
Not pretty. Really gorgeous. The sun is really in the way, huh? <laughs> so that is that one. And I'm going to clean them off after. So we'll just put it over here. So I got that one. And then I got polka dots. This was the one that I really wanted with polka dots. Really pretty. Just simple polka dots. Simple little polka dots. And I'll bring you down closer. Maybe it will get rid of that sun. A little bit. So I got the polka dot one. And then I saw this one. And they were all like 98 cents I think it was for these ones. Like a dollar something, 98 cents. So this one is like fabric. And let me tell you, so far, they look pretty good. They're like withstanding it. Can you see that fabric piece right there? I mean, so far, they're holding up really nicely to that brush, which is a, a blessing. But sometimes they don't. This one I was worried about because of the way that it's cut. It's, let me grab that paper you can see that so the way that this one's cut I was really worried about how this one would stencil it's a little weird cut they've got all those openings on there so I was a little worried about how this one would work so let's get one of those areas over here that has those but so far, it looks like it's going to hold up and it's got a beautiful pattern. Really cute pattern on there. But it held up, which I'm shocked about. I didn't think it would. So the next one is florals. Really pretty flowers. And I thought this one would be great for backgrounds on cards and whatnot. So it's really pretty, right? Let's see how this one holds up we'll do that big one because that big one has those little flower peck things sticking out yeah that one just bent I had a feeling it would so you'd have to brush in the direction and hopefully none of the others you can see that one just bent right here I was worried about that part but, I mean, it does a cute little flower, so that's not too bad. And this one here, if you saw my last one, you saw the um, little brick wall that I did, and that got me thinking, there's got to be a stencil for brick walls, right? That's <laughs> gorgeous. So I thought this would be beautiful doing the ivy on top of a stenciled however it's got a lot of tiny detail thin like plastic so you really need to like hold it in several places when you're doing it but isn't that gorgeous really pretty pattern on there so love that and this one I was so excited when I found this one. It is a Buffalo Check stencil. Buffalo Check. Look at that. Buffalo Check. I didn't even know they could do that on a stencil. I'm going to flip the page here. Let me tell you, this one got me excited because y'all know I love plaids. And I love Buffalo Check. So let's go over here. And we'll do a nice big patch of it. So one of them broke off from somewhere. I think it might have just been a piece that was tucked into it, maybe. Because they're all looking, yeah, it's a little... It wasn't poked out through all of it, so whew, on that, I thought for sure that that little piece was coming off of somewhere else. So some of the holes weren't poked. And I see it right here. So let's match that up. Can we? How cute is that? 
to be able to make your own. Let's see if I can turn it and what pattern we get with that. Go darker with the ink. I like to check it out and see if we can get a Oh, that is cool. Look at that. I like that. It gave like a little cross hatching in the little things. That is pretty. I love that. I will have all of these linked down below too. So the last one I think is an eight piece set. And it was like three something. And these are gorgeous really pretty so we'll go through them all first and then we'll do the stamping after so that is really pretty right it's like very steampunkish then this one kind of goes with that one like time pieces this one's a bunch of circles really pretty on that one too my husband loved this one it's like broken glass really pretty I loved this one because it kind of gives off lacy vibes like a doily and then this one is like water splotches everywhere and this one is a bunch of circles and then this last one I love doesn't that look like lace really really pretty so these are the last ones we'll do a little bit of each of them so you can check them out and see how they do how they hold up oh that is gorgeous and I'm worried about the big one so let's do a big one here how that's going to hold up. If you go in like circles, like most of us do, it's going to move around a lot, but it actually did really nicely. So that one worked really good. This is those water drops like one. So this one I'm not too worried about because it's got all those spaces in between. So this one I think could be used for texture paste as well. And it stencils really nicely. This one I was a little okay with because there's nice gaps in between everything. So let's do this one right here. There's nice gaps in it. That's pretty. All right, let's turn the page for the last one and then we'll see how they clean up after. I use baby wipes to clean mine not a lot of people do so I was really wondering because there's such a lot of thin ones here how that would work moved obviously because I wasn't holding over here if you work in that circle it's going to move on you but I mean it does look pretty and it does give off vibes of like a sunburst broken glass there's a lot of circles in this one and it feels a little flimsy, like it's going to move around a lot. So let's re-ink and let's check it out. So the circular motion, actually, it moves just a little bit. But that is gorgeous, right? Then we got the clock piece here. So the clock one down in this corner works really nice holds up really good the big piece is the one that I'm a little worried about because there's so much detail and it's kind of looking flimsy so let's go here it moves when you're doing it so you're gonna have to like get your hand dirty and move it around so your finger is gonna be a little black but it worked out pretty good and then the last one here there's a lot of little details in these. Let's do over here. We'll check this one out. So brushing back and forth worked good. Circular motion moved a little bit. 
but it works really well. Really pretty, right? They're quite gorgeous. They really are beautiful together. So let's see how they clean. I'm going to grab some wipes. Okay, so I have the box of my wipes and I got this box from Timu and it was in the sponsored one I did for them a long time ago. Grab a couple of the wipes out here and I use the un unscented ones like fragrance spray. So let's see how this one cleans. It actually cleaned up pretty good, better than I thought it would. So a lot of that was removed. The ink did not stain the, it didn't stain the mold, the mold, the stencil. So that one cleaned up really nicely. This one here I'm a little worried about because of the fact that it's got all those little holes. But if you wipe gently, maybe we can get all this ink off without a problem. Yeah, if you're going to. Oh, that actually, I thought it was going to be really bad. But it, it did really well. The ink didn't stain it either. Nice. I love that they have a little hole in there. So if you use a hook, it's going to, your stencil is going to hold really nicely. So let's see the flower one. Already it's catching. So I'm going to have to do it really slow because those petals are already catching it. And I don't want to break it more than that little one did but that came clean too really nicely so so far i think that they're all gonna come clean really nice with the gentle wiping and not stain there are some that stain like really badly but they clean up really nicely so far i didn't think this one would have a problem cleaning up that cleaned really nicely too. So I did use a lot on this one. Let's move this this way. Oh, that cleaned up really nicely too. And I discovered that one of the holes was not popped. So let me grab my pokey tool here. And we'll poke that right through. So that was good. And flipping it over, there's a couple other ends that did not have them poked through too. So you may have to poke them a little bit, but that cleaned up really nicely. Now this one, I used a lot of ink on this one. So I'm going to try the pat down. No. But I think it's going to come off easily too. Just a couple of wiping. Yeah, that came out pretty good. Really nice. I like that. I have a lot of wetness on there now. But that came out nice. I did not stain that stencil at all. Like that. Now the big ones, I'm not too sure on these ones because they have so much detail. So let's move that out of the way. Oh, if you go gently, if you're not like, this one cleans up good. Really slowly. And then get the other side. That one cleaned up good. So, so far they're cleaning up really nicely with just the gentle wiping. And I thought some of the ink would go on the other side, but that has not yet happened. So they haven't bled through yet. And this was that spirally circle one. Yeah, that one cleaned up too. And it had didn't bleed over to the other side. I mean, I got moisture there. But so far they look pretty good at cleaning up. I mean, you can hear this one catch a little bit on those. But it's cleaned up really nicely. And I have some water on it from the wipe here. This one's a little bit drier. Okay, so they're cleaning up nicely. I'm happy about that. And they stenciled really nicely too. 
and they're not staining, which is a plus. So I will link these all down below for you if you're interested in them. That's the last one. They worked really nicely. I am really happy with that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.